Today I'm going to be starting my smoked salmon. I have already let it marinate for 24 hours. I know that's a long time for some people and other people it's a lot shorter. Um, but that's how long I normally do it, 12 to 24 hours. And I have rinsed it off with water and then I'm going to start laying it out to uh, fan dry. Uh, for, I don't know, maybe an hour or so, depending on how long. These are, or how long it takes, I guess, to dry out a little bit. These are actually the June hogs that have been coming in that I caught on my hoop nets. So these are really thicker pieces. And then I'll kind of move it around as, as, uh, as they get, as they need to be dried off a little bit more. I approximately did, believe it or not, this is uh, two fish that, uh, two full fish that I'm putting out right now. And they are big. The The biggest one I caught was 21, 21.7 pounds. So big chunk. Big, these are big chunks I'm, I'm, I'm referring to. I had to cut them down a little bit more because they were just so thick. I work my way around my bucket too. I always will have a towel down, a messy towel. We have a fish towel rack. So it's those same towels that get used for everything and they're not washed with anything else or else they'll end up smelling like fish. And then your towel's ruined or your clothes are ruined, whatever you're washed it with it's shot and then over there I have the fish that just drying I got I'm gonna hang that up here in a bit but it's been hanging there it's the first time I've tried it then I have the fan ready to go so I can air dry this off so it'll get that texture And I'll be getting, I'll be selling these, so I'm not even trying to hang on to this. I'll probably just vacuum pack everything and then and get rid of them. A lot of people have been asking me for them, so look at those chunks; they're just huge. That's only one. Maybe it's one and a half. I don't know. It's one or two salmon all together. I should probably shorten them up a little. This might take up all my room. That cut. chunks too that can go in there and I'll have my other pot I cut these a little bit thinner and these I probably added a little bit more brown sugar I use uh, light brown sugar soy sauce maple syrup but these ones are darker I kind of fluctuate every now and then, just depending on how I feel, I guess. Then these were only marinating for about 12 hours. And I got bellies in here too. Some bellies are getting done. Normally I just smoke the bellies. I don't, I don't worry about marinating because they come out pretty good. And then coming to the end and this is going to be this rack that I have out for the salmon shed is just as big as this table so that's what what it's taking after pretty much thing we'll move over to the other side make sure everything's and you don't want to touch anything if you don't have to because this stuff is sticky. Uh, 
see just how it pulls off the towel just by doing that try to make sure they're not overlapping of any kind too so they can get dried out and then once this is done i'll put some pepper on it i'll lightly put pepper on it not not too crazy just enough to give it that taste taste of pepper i don't want to drown it in pepper And then once I do that, I'll put the fan on and dry it out. And then they'll go out to the smoker. See, it's starting to come together now. These are mostly bellies that are left. The long strips of bellies. Make some more room, run another room, but this will be a whole rack. A whole rack that'll fit on out here on the shed. All right, last one. So now we'll get to doing our pepper. Slightly kind of go over it. Not too crazy. Before I start sneezing, get this done up. And then I'll run my fan on this a little bit lightly on it. Try not to have pepper all over the house either. But. Uh, it's pretty much the pure ground black pepper is what I'm using. And then after that, let's throw them on the smoker. Alright everybody, till next time.